The Capato application provides a host of benefits for developers, whether it be intelligent conflict resolution, many different types of testing, or comprehensive reporting on all things related to DevOps. But for some developers, they would prefer to remain in their IDE and perform their commits and deploys directly from there. So Capato has built an IDE integration to accommodate that development style without losing any of the benefits of our Salesforce native application. I happen to be demoing with VS Code today, but Capato will integrate with any IDE. So starting here in the terminal, there are a handful of different Capato commands that the developers will be using. And if I type in an sfdx capato work minus h, here are those commands, allowing everything from viewing a list of user stories that you have to work on, pushing your changes to the remote repository to deploying them to upstream environments. So let's start first with picking the user story or feature that I want to work on. So I'll do an SFDX Capato work list. And here I can see that there are a number of stories that have been assigned to me. Now these stories I'm seeing here are logged in Capato but they could have automatically flowed over from Jira, Rally, or other ALM tools that your company uses. And if I need to work on the account operations enhancements feature or story, I'll do an SFDX Capato work set minus S and then the name of the user story. So user story 67. But before I click enter, You'll notice on the bottom left of my screen that I'm currently on the master branch. But now, after hitting enter, you can see that I've been switched to a feature branch for user story 67. So selecting a user story will automatically create a new local branch for me to work on changes specific to that user story. I can run a Capato work display to see more details or field values for this user story. Or if I want to take a look at the full record itself, I'll type in Capato work open. And this will log me into the Salesforce org that holds the Capato managed package, as well as bring up the user story that I'm working on. And so now if I want to see any of the other field values here, I can do so by scrolling through the user story. And I'll also point out that up until this point, there are no commits that have been made on this user story. But let's come back to VS Code and begin to make the necessary code changes and afterwards commit my work. So I'll open up the classes folder and select the account operations class that I want to modify. I'll keep things simple and just put an additional comment here and then save my work. I'll type in my commit message, and now I've committed this change on my local branch. If I want to then push this to the remote repository and have the commit linked to the Capato user story, I'll do an SFDX Capato work push. Here the push is already complete, and I can use my command to open up the user story in Capato again and show you what's changed. So earlier, I showed that this story was brand new and didn't have any commits logged against it. Now as I click on the commits sub tab, you can see that my commit to the remote repository is visible right here with my commit message and all. And then there's a list of all committed components below, which is just the one Apex class at this point in time. I have a link at the top right of my screen which will actually open up my version control system and take me right to this commit that was automated in the background by Capato. And I can see the diff here, displaying the exact changes that I made to the code. So what we've seen happen here is from the convenience of my IDE, I was able to make changes, commit them locally, and then use the Capato commands to have a remote feature branch be created. My work committed into that feature branch, and then have all of those actions logged against the Capato user story. 
And now I can also reap the benefits of the other tools that Capato provides, like various types of testing, conflict detection and resolution, etc. But let's jump back into the IDE where we still have a few Capato commands that we can leverage. If I do an SFDX Capato work submit and then minus H, I can see the variations that I have available to execute, such as if I want to deploy the user story upstream, just do a promote, which would be passing it off to the release manager to deploy, or even a validation before an eventual deployment. Well, let's go ahead and do a deploy here. So I'll type in SFDX Capato work submit minus D to deploy up a level. And I can do a Capato work open again to show that from my IDE, I've now deployed this user story up into the UAT environment. 